Hey guys, E3 is here, which means lots of exciting news right around the corner. But for now, here are your top five stories for the week. Google announced the Stadia Founders Edition yesterday. The cloud-based gaming service is set to be released in November of this year and includes a special night blue Stadia controller, a Chromecast Ultra, three months of Stadia Pro for you and a friend, the entire Destiny 2 collection, including the unreleased Shadowkeep expansion and its annual pass, and first dibs at your choice of a Stadia username. All this for only $130, with a monthly subscription fee of $10 for Stadia Pro, though a subscription fee is not required. Welcome to the future of gaming, people! Bungie has announced major changes headed to its flagship game, Destiny 2. The core game, soon to be known as Destiny 2 New Light, will become free to play after the upcoming expansion Shadowkeep is released on September 17th. All content up until the Warmind expansion will be available for free. Forsaken and Shadowkeep will still cost money though. Cross progression is also set to happen, allowing you to take your guardian between all current gen platforms. Yes, that includes PS4 and also Google Stadia. Oh, and there will be no console exclusives anymore, so now you don't have to be jealous of your PS4 friends. The reveal of the next chapter of Battlefield 5 is here. DICE is introducing four new maps, Province, Lofton Islands, Marita, and Al Sundan. In a remake of the fan favorite map from Battlefield 3, Operation Metro, now called Operation Underground. Rollout of the new updated map start on June 27th. Pokemon fans around the world got some more information about the next installment of the mainline series during a Pokemon Direct held on June 5th. The Direct revealed the new battling mechanic known as Dynamaxing, which takes your Pokemon and makes it bigger and gives them a significant boost in power for 3 turns. They also introduced 5 brand new Pokemon and the cover legendaries Zacian and Zamazenta. The game is set to release on November 15th. Click the link in the description to watch the entire Direct. Did you know that Blizzard was making a first person shooter based off of StarCraft? Neither did I, and it doesn't matter anyway because it's been cancelled. Jason Schreier over at Kotaku.com has reported that the game was cancelled because the company wants to put the focus on the development of Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2, which are expected to be announced this year at BlizzCon. That's it for this week, see you guys in the next video.